Hi, <clears throat> Paul Montgomery here, Stone Barn Portfolios. Today uh, it's the middle of July and we're going to take a look at uh, what the markets have been doing this month and uh, what our indicators say about uh, their strength and health. Um, I'm going to introduce you today to some stochastics and those stochastics, uh, um, that's essentially, it's a, it's a measurement of where a particular price is relative to the range of prices um, over the last X number of periods. Um, the stochastics we're using are a little bit different than that. Uh, I mean, they are that, but we're normalizing the prices so that when we um, want to compare two different securities, um, we have corrected for the volatility so that we can compare apples and apples. Um, uh, my buddy and partner Don is going to spend some time uh, talking about these today, showing you how we look at these things um, in order to understand where the markets are and what they're doing right now. Like I said, it's the middle of July. It is hot. You know, you see my new stone barn hat? Okay. And I'm wearing it because I was just outside. Look at my, I'm sweating like a, like a pig. I'll tell you what, it's, a, it's air conditioned in here, but it's going to take me a while to cool down. So while I cool down, let's run the logo. All right. Hey, good morning, Don. Uh, good morning, middle of sir. The, yeah, middle of the month, July 2019. And uh, thought it might be a good idea if we took a look at uh, our metrics that kind of tell us whether we should be starting to lose sleep or not, or whether we should be piling more money into the markets. And um, uh, I thought I might impose upon you to do a little chart interpretation for us. Are you up for that? I'll send you a bill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, then let me do this. Let me figure out how to show you my screen. And uh, um, I think, think I can do that here. And uh, yeah, and we'll get our, get our ugly mugs out of the way. And uh, you should be looking at my screen now. Let me see if I can um, give uh, mouse and, I'm going to give mouse and keyboard control to you so you can move that arrow around. Does that work for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I assume it does, but <laughs> we'll, <laughs> see, we'll find out pretty soon. Uh, Technology is not one of my... Uh, greater skills but uh all right i think you might just have to click on the screen to take take it there you go you are running my computer go. all right technology is a beautiful thing when it works yeah well <laughs> yeah so uh, let me tell you everybody what we're looking at here this is uh you have a very similar layout on your computer um but these are some very important um indicators for us um, the very top, uh, the red and the black line that, that crisscross each other, is um, is a normalized stochastic RSI. And I know that sounds kind of uh, fancy, um, but what they're normalized for is uh, is volatility. So that we're, we're we're taking a look at stuff that so that it's it's um, uh, it's not out of whack in terms of what moves faster and farther uh, relative to price. Um, the next pane down is uh, what they call a moving average um, crossover convergence divergence. And, yeah. And uh, the black line is what they normally call signal. And we see a little histogram in there, blue and red. Uh, we call that direction. Um, and the pane below that is that, that squiggly blue line is the stone barn summation index. And um, when we look at that, what we're, this, this uh, gives us, a, if the other two are measuring trend, this is measuring tendency. And the tendency it's measuring is the tendency for the close of, um, of the uh, SPY to be higher or lower uh, than it's open um, in, in the range that, uh, that it goes up and down in a given day. And yeah, if you add that up a court, across the course of a couple of different days and um, you get whether it's tending to close higher or lower. And uh, we have found this to be a particularly uh, sensitive and good indicator. Uh, right at the bottom is a, 
is a regular bar chart of, uh, of the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. So that's, that's what we're looking at, but tell us what you see. All right. First, you can focus on the bottom chart. You can see that there's some pretty, pretty interesting swings in here. Last fall, we had a pretty, pretty sharp takedown. We had one corrective action in the course of the year, but we're at all time highs and none of this should surprise us as we go through the top, uh, the, the top three pains on the, let's go to the very end of it. The top chart, is the black line that's price SPX and anything above 60 strong trend that's all it's yep. in a strong trend and if you looked at the bottom you'd, you'd have to agree to that and so we then lose to the red line which is significantly lower and that means this is our risk measure so our risk is low the trend is strong all you need to do is go borrow some money from your brother-in-law and put it in the market. He'll think you, you're doing, doing him a great favor. But so this is today's chart. Let's go, I think to, to have a better understanding, let's go back and look at some of the more critical times and how these indicators have assisted us in, as we go forward. Okay. Let's take a quick look at, this is the most interesting one because we, we started getting information pretty clearly uh if you'll go to the bottom chart uh, to our little uh, stone barn summation we started getting information uh pretty early that uh oh yeah we're not exactly uh great at this point in time if you go to the top chart it still said the trend's pretty strong vix was okay but it changed and when it changed uh we didn't know how severe the takedown was going to be. I don't think anybody knew that, but we did know now we have lost our edge in our indicators and we were not blindsided. I don't think you should be the world's coming to an end, but for people who need to have some protective uh, measures for, uh, this is where your portfolios probably need to adjust themselves or you adjust it for them. So, right. Saying all that, let's go forward. We're going to walk forward a little bit. We had a little uh, little improvement. We go back down again. We didn't know how deep it was, but once we cleared, once we cleared uh, uh, about this line right at uh, this right. level, it became obvious that you get punished now by not having your money in the market. And so, therefore, being fully invested through the rest of this uh uh, marketplace is is the the thing that 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 every day is not the same. It, every day is not a uh, uh, a downhill slide for us. One, one more one more point here. Let's yeah. go look at look at look at this corrective action. Uh, the, the red line up above here is the VIX. It is starting some five or six days before the high. It is starting to to. Mm. to to whisper in your ear, this is my ear for the VIX. It's <laughs> whispering, you better, you there's something going to happen, you know. And and I wear a hearing aid, so I I, I get it loud and clear. <laughs> and then the trend was still okay, but once we got there, there's pretty good violence right in front of you. And we, I, I'm t Paul and I talked about this via the phone that I said something's fixing to uh, to happen here. But you didn't know that. Fix um, fix whispers in your ear a little bit earlier than than others. So these are just our basic things. It's not part of our trading model, but we should never be surprised right. if you have pretty good command of the trend, the risk, the direction, and what to anticipate just a little bit with our open, high, low, close, the blue line in the middle. Yep. So. Yeah, the uh, I think it's important to mention too. Like you say, um, you know, there's there's not a, a trading strategy that we use that is that is built on these. However, we do know, like for instance, when price is high uh, and VIX uh, is higher, that we are in for some severe turbulence. And uh, the probabilities, and of course, that's what we base everything that we do is based on probabilities. 
when that VIX is above that 60 line, the, the probabilities, the chances of making money uh, are very slow. You're, the chances are much higher. The probability is much higher that you're going to lose money. The same thing is true when price is low, especially when it's coming down through. When it gets down below 50 or 40 in here, uh, the, the chances of making money are, are slim. They're, um, you know, you can see some of these turns. Of course, when those turns happen, this turn here, you, uh, we didn't know that was a turn, um, but it corresponded with the VIX sharply turning over and the price sharply coming up. And like you say, right, right around in here, it confirmed for us that uh, we had a strong trend again. And uh, when we pair it with um, these MACD lines, uh, you know, where that is at any given moment, what direction it's moving, and put it together with uh, with summation, we can see when, a, when the summation index bounces off a bottom like that, when it gets that deep, it tends not to stay there for very long. And when you get a, a climb up like this, that's a, that's a rocket ship to the moon and put it together with these other indicators and it tells you that um, the market is, it, the probabilities of making money on the long side, I should say, you know, you know the way the most people well, one of the things that, that will verify that we're websites be up real pretty soon. We've yeah, got we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a, a, our website is being built right now by a professional uh, rather than a couple of amateurs like us. Yeah, and, and, uh, true. A couple but, of weeks, but, and I'm all that there. There will be uh, some uh, for people who have an interest in probabilities and things like that. Uh, we have some pretty interesting ones when, when we're above certain levels and interact with these things. And uh, there, there's some pretty eye-opening probability sets that yep. cover 25 years of data. And, and so it, it's something that for people who have an interest in it, and if they don't, uh, you know, this part will have some idea about what the market's doing, but we don't own the market. We own the best stocks that we possibly can. That's right. Uh, th this is, uh, this helps us sleep, us sleep at night. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it gives us some, some measure of confidence that, um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are right to be, um, in the markets when we are. And, um, uh, these are not timing mechanisms by, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. The, this is how we, uh, set and determine our probabilities for, um, for making money. Um, and that's important to us. Uh, nobody, nobody gets it right every time. Um, the casino doesn't get it right every time. You know, the, uh, the, the odds are in our favor. The odds are in their favor and you have an edge. When you have an edge, it's not a question of uh, if you're going to make money. It's when you're going to make money as long as you control for the amount of risk that you take. Uh, that's, a, that's a topic for, a, for another day. But, um, yeah, this is, this is what we – you and I look at this almost every day. We talk about it frequently, and um, uh, and I would say that uh, you I've are been the, doing this for about twenty five years. So uh, that's, why I, that's what, why I call you Yoda. You know, <laughs> you you are the Yoda of these charts here. And, uh, <laughs> I learned so much listening to you, but I'm a I'm the young Jedi Knight. You yeah. know, I'm sixty six, but uh, you know I'm I'm the you young knight. Rookie. Who's trying to who's trying to gain my confidence? But the <laughs> yeah, well, good stuff. Um, uh, just a quick review on uh, on the portfolios where we're just re yeah. the, the strategies that we use, or you and I use for our own money. Um, they're holding up quite well. Uh, you know, in, when the market has some weak has had some weak days. If you look over here in the last couple of weeks, there's this is some weakness right here. Uh, there's some weakness right there. During those weak periods, um, our portfolios tend not to lose what the what the uh, markets Absolutely. lose. Um, we don't always make as much on a way up either, but you don't have to if you if you're not losing. Um, and uh, there are some days where the market's down, and we're uh, we're actually up in our portfolios, and that's what picking the right stocks uh, uh, can do for you. Uh, we've got more of that, more about that too. will be on our website and, um, you know, we'll, we'll tell you more about that as, as the website comes online. But, uh, we're, we're real pleased with the way that the, the, our strategies are working and the portfolios are holding up, doing exactly what we expect them to do. And boy, that's an important thing. 
So, yes, sir. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to stop the share and bring us back to these two good-looking guys here so we can talk just for a second. I got on my cleanest, dirty shirt today. I'm telling you. I, tell, I, you know, I don't know if you can see my hat. Like I said, it's still, but look, it's all it's all sweaty. I was just before you you called me. I was down and I was uh, brushing <laughs> brushing the pool and helping helping my wife uh, get some mulch in the flower beds. Oh man, yeah, yeah. And it's a warm July day here, so um, I'm a little sweaty. I hope it doesn't show up too much here. Now that I just showed it, everybody. nobody's going to be watching us anyway. <laughs> they want to learn how to make money. That's right. Well, the next time we uh, talk to everybody, it'd be the end of the month. That's uh, that's not too far away. And uh, market travels on, making new highs. It's uh, up slightly. It's flat today. You know, the s and is up right now. It's uh, one basis point. That's almost not worth getting out of bed for. It's almost nap time. <laughs> that's, that's right. The NDX is, up six, is down six basis points. You know, that's just uh, somebody sneezes and it moves that much. But... Um, Anyway, we'll see what happens the rest of the month. Um, who knows with all these tweets flying around Washington, you know, what's going to happen. Uh, they seem to – they can be disruptive sometimes. But, interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, certainly interesting. <laughs> all right, my brother. Well, you right. take care. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. And uh, uh, we'll get call it a day. Get to the farm and yep. uh, get down to the to your swimming pool and clean it up. I had my uh, had my grandson help me get the rototiller on the back of the tractor yesterday. I'm going to uh, uh, go out and till up some more ground and put in some more lavender um, and f get it ready for fall planting. Yes, sir. So, uh, get out there, play farmer for a little bit. So portfolio is taken care of. We know what we're doing. That's right. We'll All right, Don. Thank you. Yep. Talk to you. Bye.